Hi, this is Julie Marie, and you're listening to SYM Radio, the music entertainment and talk show that has been endorsed by several organizations, activists, and family members dedicated to raising awareness of missing cases. In 2011, New Hampshire native David Levitt has dedicated his life to raising awareness of missing persons cases. The high-profile cases of Selena Cass from New Hampshire and Lisa Irwin of Kansas City, Missouri has motivated David to work with a passion rivaled only by a few. The Missing and Abducted Radio Show which is part of his overall network, Speak Your Mind Radio, his listeners' latest update. So without further ado, here's your host. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Speak Your Mind Radio. Tonight, I want to introduce to you my personal friend and music sensation artist slash actress, Julie Marie Daboos. Julie is also known as Julie Marie. I have known her for almost what 13 years and Julie grew up loving the spotlight ever since she was a child she's from New Hampshire she first made her mark in the industry when she was just four years old signing with Cinderella modeling agency and modeling for Jay-Z Penny until she decided to venture out into the acting world and she was around 13 14 then she's played in a couple of Disney movies and she's currently working on another movie that's going to deal with uh, martial arts and uh, with acting and modeling under her belt, she still has not been satisfied with herself. After going to an Alicia Keys concert back a couple of years ago, it became clear to Julie that her passion was performing. When Julie turned 16, she and her father decided that they have come to a decision to move to California, which was just recently. Although leaving friends and family behind, Julie saw it as not leaving but advancing her career Julie is now working with agencies on the East and West Coast, and she is currently in L.A. working on her EP entitled The Movement, which has a rhythm and blues urban pop vibe. And to this song I said she just released, it's called Haiti Girl. Uh, We're going to go ahead and play that. And then we're going to take you with to an interview that was done earlier this evening uh, with Julie Marie. And then we'll take you into an interview that was done back in April of this year with a, my partner in radio, Justin Harvey of the Justin Harvey Show. I got to do that, 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 that. Gonna find so good from 
my name on it. Last two, he a loser, he got lame, homie. Now, ain't nobody, ain't nobody on my kick flip. She know a strawberry bunny books, that's why she kick flip. On the ice cube, better chew, do. For ice tea and milk, do you? Cause mess around with my lady, what you won't do? Mr. Cat Daddy, turn him on the cat fool. Yeah, your home guys wanna hate you. Cause you go for the content, boy. Miss I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? She got a chip up. Them chicken hands coming short, that's a nip tuck. I got a whip so big, I need a tummy tuck. Same with Julie Marie. And I turn this thing up, man, it's nothing to me. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody, and welcome again back to Speak Your Mind Radio. I am your host, David Levitt, and I have Julie Marie here on the phone with me to talk about her upcoming tour, September 27th, called The Mindless Behavior. Now, Mindless Behavior is an American boy band best known for the singles My Girl and Mrs. Wright. They also performed My Girl on the Today Show back in November of 2010. The debut album, Number One Girl, was released on September 29th, 2011. So without further ado, let's hear from Julie Marie. Hi, Julie. How you doing? Hi. Hi. I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Um, okay, well, first thing, uh, I hear a rumor that actually you're trying to, uh, there might be a deal in the works with uh, Jason Derulo. Yeah, so I'm very excited about that. Um, my camp and his camp have um, been working back and forth to get that deal done. I'm very excited because, you know, he's someone... I look up to his music. So oh, yes. Else is. Definitely. Yeah, so for sure. And um, I just think it'd be very great if both of our kind of vibes together. Mm-hmm. I think it's, it's going to be great. That, yes. I mean, it's, I, you know, when I heard it, when I heard it from your dad, I mean, uh, I couldn't believe it. I mean, he, he, just alone with, with um, his, his solo, he sold over 30 million singles, the album that he just yeah. released in April. And, of exactly. course, you know, and I can't believe it because actually... Shirley's the one that actually turned me on to the music, Talk Dirty. And that was the oh, album that he released. Yeah. Yes, that is so awesome. Um, yeah. And uh, she also likes the other one, Riding Solo, because uh, I'm glad he put that on that album, because even though that was back from earlier. Um, yeah. But it's really, I mean, it's, it's, I couldn't believe how much, how much he has sold. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the tour. Okay, yeah. So um, when it, where is the uh, tour starting? Um, the tour starts September 27th. I believe the first day is in Redondo Beach. So that's going to be very exciting. Um, I just can't wait to, because it's funny, like I said before, like I used to look up to these little kids, you know, when I was younger. I feel like I used to sing their songs, and you know, back in 2011 when they came out, and it's kind of really great for me to be on the same, sharing the same stages with them, and you know, our names being promoted mm-hmm. at the same level, so it really is great. Yeah, so that's going to be very, exciting. I'm very excited for it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, on your album uh, that's going to be coming mm-hmm. out, that's going to be released uh, sometime in August, correct? Yeah, um, correct. Uh, what are some of the, I know that we have Generation and uh, Hate a Girl that we just um, just had heard. Um, mm-hmm. What are the other songs that are going to be on there? Um, I've recorded so many songs, so it's kind of hard to choose exactly which ones. Mm-hmm. But um, I have another. I have a duet with someone um, named Luigi. We have um, it's called Parachute. So that song to me is kind of like a ballad, but kind of also like um, a rhythmic pop kind of vibe. Oh wow! So what that? Yeah. So what that was kind of like you know No Air by Chris Brown and Jordan Sparks. Yes. It's exactly like that, basically. Oh, so, wow, cool. That ought to be um, Yeah, yeah. So that's actually my favorite song on the whole album. Uh-huh. But when we, I first did it, I was I came into the studio to do like, just another song, the solo, and I knew that 
um, I really wanted the lyrics to be kind of like, you had to think about it, you know? So I needed, um, so Luigi came in and helped me write it, and then we were finished the whole track, basically. And then the next day, we came in to finish it, and, you know, and then I think my priest was like, why don't we make it a duet? So we started all over again, changed everything up, and turned it into a duet. So that's something I'm really, really proud of. It took a lot, it like, took a while, but, like, I'm, like, really happy with the outcome. So then mm-hmm. I have another song on it. Um, it originally was called State of Mind. Um, it's kind of like a trap kind of feel. And um, actually yesterday when I went to go listen to it over again, I was like, you know what? I'm going to redo the whole lyrics. So when we're going to restart that, I believe, next week. So yeah. that should be good. Yeah, cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so um, I, it's, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that um, our 4th of July barbecue that we had here, all mm-hmm. the residents, I actually I played both of your songs. And they mm-hmm. couldn't believe They said you have a very wonderful voice. Wow, thank you. <laughs> so they're actually it's kind crazy. of excited for, for your EP to be coming out. And uh, I sure as hell can't wait to get a, get a, a copy of that EP because you yeah, got some... Yeah, for sure. They, they, they said... The one, the best one out of they said, oh, they liked both, they mm-hmm. you know the generation and the Haiti girl, but they said the Haiti girl seemed to be one of the best ones that they really enjoyed because I mean we had people yeah. here dancing around and everything else, so really yes yes <laughs> crazy yep it's so crazy. that's what I love you know when I see I did meet and greet for my birthday I was at the BT um thing the whole weekend so i couldn't have a birthday party yeah. so on the 26th i had a meet and greet mm-hmm. at city walk yep. and the, there were all my fans came out and they were singing the song and dancing to it and it was just you know that's what really makes me happy like what, to do what i do is see yep. like fans or you know even people dancing and singing along because we know they're enjoying it yes so. and they did enjoy it exactly um yeah. happy, like i say a happy belated birthday um, <laughs> I know I just spoke with your father back last month and I says, well, you know, I'm going to try my darnest, but you know what? You do have a package coming. <laughs> it may be oh, a late birthday sweet. present, but you do have a package coming. Sweet, I can't wait. Don't tell me what it is. Don't tell me Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> nope. Nope. But it's going to be, it, you'll enjoy it. Believe me. Well, okay. Well, look, thank you very much for taking your time out, Julie, uh, for actually, mm-hmm. um, Letting us, giving us an update on your EP and, and when it's going to be released and, your, of course, your tour. And like I say, I'll definitely be promoting that commercial, too, when the, for the uh, tour. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yes. it's going to be on BT, VH1, of the Park, on the radio. It's going to be everywhere, so I'm very, very excited for that. That's good. That's good. All right, mm-hmm. well, thanks. You have a great night, Julie. Thank you very much yes, again. Yes, you too. And you have a good night. You too. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, mindless fans, come turn up September 28th at the Redondo Beach Performing Arts Center for the Cool to Be Smart Tour with Mindless Behavior and Friends, hosted by Big Mike Rob and Mindless Behavior, with special guests Julie, Laura, Love Jones Girls, HD, Little Rossi, Lady X, and Holton B. Doors open at 5 p.m. Tickets are on sale now at amg.tix.com or call 661-998-3787. Hi, this is the host of Speak Your Mind Radio and Missing and Abducted on Spreaker.com. You can follow us at Spreaker.com slash Missing and Abducted and Spreaker.com slash SYM Radio. Be sure to follow the Justin Harvey Show on Facebook at Facebook.com, the Justin Ray Harvey Show on YouTube at YouTube.com slash Frank Dukes fan and on Twitter at Justin Ray Harvey and also on Voicebo at voicebo.com Justin Ray Harvey Okay, alright so now we're going to go ahead and go into the interview with my partner uh, in April of this year with Julie Marie when she was first starting out when her First single came out, Generation, which you will hear after that interview. Hello, everyone. This is Amy Mayer Sr. 
the star in Surf Ninja, and I played the character as Zatch. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ernie Reyes Jr. from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and you're listening to The Justin Harvey Show. Cowabunga, this dude. This is Sarah McMahon, UFC Woman Spider. This is Mohamed Kisi, alias Don in the movie Kickboxer with John claude Van Damme. Hi, this is Tony Luke Jr., a.k.a. Joey the Nail Nardone. Hi, I'm Don the Dragon Wilson, also known as Jake Ray from Bloodfist. Hello, this is Haskell Von Anderson III. I was Winston Taylor in the movie Kickboxer. You're listening to Justin Ray Harvey. Justin Ray Harvey's life is a different culture. It's a different world. You better come to terms with that, or you won't last a heart, a heart, a heart, a heart. What's up? It's your girl, Julie Marie Darboos, and you're listening to Justin Harvey. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of the Justin Harvey Show. Hope everyone's having a great evening. Grab your cup of coffee, grab your dinner, whatever you need to grab, because this is going to be one heck of a show today. Today I have music sensation and artist slash actress Julie Marie. How are you doing tonight, Julie? I'm great. How are you? That that's awesome. Um, uh, to to start off the show, um, can can you uh, tell my audience a little bit of where you come from and what inspires you to do do music and uh, talk about your song? Uh, generation because I checked it out on YouTube the other day and it's an awesome awesome song. Yes, thank you. So, <clears throat> well, originally I'm from New Hampshire. Um, I was born and raised there, and just recently, a few months ago, I came out to California to pursue my career in acting and modeling and singing and everything. But um, I didn't want to sing at first. It was a funny story. Mm-hmm. I was in church one day. And um, I was probably just sitting, you know, on the side, like, like singing to the worship song. And then the pastor called me up, and after, and he was like, Julie, come sing. I'm, like, very shy at first. So then I was like, oh, mm-hmm. I was getting red. And I was like, oh, I don't want to go up and sing. But I did with the guitar player. And then after that, he went up to my dad and was like, your daughter has a beautiful voice. Did you not know that? But mm-hmm. I didn't know this was the first time I've ever heard her sing. Mm-hmm. So after that, I got a singing coach. And ever since I think I was around... 12 or 11, but I've been doing modeling since I was, like, 7 and, like, 4. Like, I've been there since I was little. I just got into the singing now. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, so I moved out here to L.A. to pursue it, and I went, since I came here, we got, you know, my manager, we got, you know, everything set for my EP, which is my album, to come out this summer, and we released the first single, Generation. Um, to me, I wanted to make that song because, especially as teenagers, like, we're often so misunderstood and so just degraded almost. So I wanted to make this song almost kind of like an anthem for us younger kids because I'm 16, so that, like, you know, we really don't care. You say, like, we're more than just what you think. You know, we're so intelligent. We're so beyond our years. So mm-hmm. I kind of want to be very opinionated, something a lot of teenagers can relate to. Mm-hmm. And what I think is awesome, too, Julie, is, I uh, read somewhere where you did a concert for anti-bullying as well. Yes, I did anti-bullying. I think I opened for Eric Bellinger mm-hmm. and um, Raison. And, mm-hmm. yeah, that was um, last week I opened. Yeah, because bullying is, you know, especially nowadays, bullying is, like, so rough, and, you know, especially in schools and stuff. So, I, you know, I'm a big supporter of that, and, you know, it was my pleasure. Like, I, I was so happy to do it. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. That that that's amazing, and uh, you know you have a lot of followers on 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 Twitter and on Facebook. I, I think I think you're going to be like the next Miley Cyrus, so to speak. <laughs> Thank you. I can, I hope so. Like you know, it's just all about you know keeping your poise and you know just having you know staying focused on what you want and making sure you know, your priorities are straight. And it's just all about knowing where you come from and not forgetting, you know, your background. Like, I've mm-hmm. done, you know, I just got into singing now before, you know, I did J.C. Penny and I did, like, um, I did modeling for, like, a bunch of, like, bridal places and acting. So it's just making sure, like, not sticking to one thing and, you know, being as, like, diverse as you can. Mm-hmm. Now, tell us some of your um, musical inspirations. Was, um, like, for example, like Aaliyah or... Who was some of your favorite artists of all time that inspired you to do this? 
Yes, actually, name one. Aaliyah is probably my number one. I I really um, admire her and everything she does, even like the sense of style. Like I always have my flannel tattered on me. But um, definitely Aaliyah. The next would probably be um, Rihanna and Sierra <clears throat> and MJ too. MJ's always an inspiration for everyone, but for me especially. Mm-hmm. I grew up like my dad had him like his music around the house all the time, so I kind of like, grew up with Michael. But um, yeah, like Michael, Aaliyah. Rihanna, Sierra, just like those those people, and Miley too. She's like she's getting big right now, so I like her. I like her music. Yeah, I, I could I could see you actually being possibly the next Miley Cyrus. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, if, if you get to that point, how would that make you feel? Um, I'd be so happy because I worked. I've been working so hard for this ever since I was little. I don't, I don't even go to school anymore. I do homeschool because I'm so busy with everything, and it just be a dream from Shira. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was, I was, I was gonna ask you that, you know, how, like, that was gonna be my next question was like, how is school life and and having friends and having to juggle a a, a music career and school and all together because it's it's yeah. got to be it's, rough. It's difficult. It is difficult, but um, I'm I like I like school, so like, mm-hmm. I can balance it pretty well, but um. You don't really have time for friends that much because, you know, you go from studio to, you know, the dance studio to the booth and back to, you know, rehearsal. Then you go to, like, um, performances and you go to events and it's, you're very busy day to day. There's something every day that goes on. It's just a choice of whether you want to go or not. But, um, like, I have a schedule planned out. You know, I do my get my homework done, get my schoolwork done because school's like, education is so important. So I make sure I put that, you know, on the top of, like, my priority list. And it's just it's just about just knowing what you want, you know what I mean? If you want to become this, there's, what, like, steps you have to do that. So, you know, education is definitely very big. And with a friend, you have, I have friends um, in the industry, and it's good to have friends in the industry because they kind of understand what you're going through and they mm-hmm. can help you with certain decisions and what you're making and whatnot. Mm-hmm, yeah. It, it's always good to have good friends behind you and, and, and good support. You know, you know, in, in these times, because it's, you know, you're still very, very young, which is a good thing, which is on your side, but it's still very, very rough. Mm-hmm. You know? Especially, um, I've experienced it. A lot of people seem to be very jealous of um, the success that you make. So it's just good to have, you know, open eyes and don't don't be fooled so easily. <laughs> Well, I, I've always heard the more successful you'll be, the more uh, people will be jealous, and that that is true. And but in the end, you will know who your true friends are. Yeah, it really is. And like one quote that I one quote that I always use is, um, like you you really know who your true friends are once once you become so successful because you know if you I actually love the haters because like they hate mm-hmm. for a reason you know what I mean if I had no haters it'd kind of be like oh well, like you know they say a little like when you have haters you know like they, they like something that they want that they're jealous of so I kind of like that <laughs> yeah I mean it, it kind of gives you that extra push to do it even more it's like mm-hmm. you, you know it's like because like with me I don't do this show to be famous I do it because I love I love yeah. talk radio, and I've had I've had several celebrities on my show, and uh, I've had people tell me because I have a disability that I would never ever have my own radio show. Yeah, something I always tell like my fans too, like don't listen to what people say like because if I listened to what people told me, like I I know I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, so it's just you just know and just be. I always tell my fans just be yourself, and you know don't listen to what people tell you because. Half the time, they just know that you're going to, like, be more successful than them, and they just don't want you to, like, be bigger than them. But at the end of the day, you know, you do this for you and what you love, so, you know, you don't do it for other people. Mm-hmm. Exactly, because life is too short, you know. Mm-hmm. Do what you love, you know. Yes, I agree completely. And also, well, let's, t- let's touch on this a little bit. You're also an actress, and... I heard that you were in a Disney Channel movie. Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh, yeah. I've done some guest appearances, yes, on Disney shows. And I've also done my own um, or in a movie called You Should Be a Model. Um, 
mm-hmm. by European director. He's amazing. I've done so many commercials from like toy um play plays, toys and Sonia's Bridal and David's Bridal and all these different stuff. Um oh, so many commercials like countless. But I, I kinda drifted away towards the acting. I came to California to act and mm-hmm. then um that um thing happened in, in the church and then I was like, Oh well, maybe maybe I was destined to sing. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So uh, t- tell us a little bit of uh, the background of the of the film. Yeah, so um, it should be coming out. Took, it's a year and a half, so it's basically almost a documentary, almost on how um, people just say you have to be tall and skinny to be a model. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to be like whatever, like five nine, I know, and you have to be you know like less than hundred pounds or whatever. And this movie kind of is. Um, showing you how you don't have to be that. You don't have to fit the standards to be a model. You don't have to be Caucasian. You don't have to be Asian. You know what I mean? It's kind of mm-hmm. like uh, you can be very diverse. You can be a model any any age, any shape, you know? So it's kind of like more of like, um, and it's also, there's a part of it that's also um, on like how to become that, like kind of like following your journey almost. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, Yeah. So, uh, I mean, off the top of your head, can you name some of the Disney shows that you've been featured in? Yes, one was called Lab Rats. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was Lab Rats. I, I believe I've heard that one. Um, mm-hmm. If so I need to really check that one out, um, yeah. Because I'm still, you know, I'm like 28 years old, but mm-hmm. you know, I, I'm still like a little kid at heart. You know, <laughs> that's same with me. That's so. It's so me. <laughs> so, because I mean, I watch like Boy Meets World and Disney shows and, mm-hmm. and cartoons, and it's just it's amazing. So I need to check yeah. that out. So. I I love TV shows too. Like I'm always watching. Like my favorite shows like Vampire Diaries. Like I'm always watching like those like gory shows. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah, I like I like um I like like. Stuff like that too, and I've been watching uh, Charmed on Netflix too. So. Oh yeah, I haven't seen that. Yeah, I'm so busy. Like if I, my DVR is like three, four weeks behind on shows. But uh, you, you know, um, what is like your ultimate goal? Like five years from now, would you? Would my you ultimate think? goal definitely would to be a pop star and just you know follow my follow my dreams out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I could probably see you probably in five years at the um like the uh music awards doing something. Um, can you repeat that? I said I said in five years or so I could see you um at the uh at the uh music awards. Oh yes, definitely. I, I went to um the Oscar viewing party and the Grammys, but ultimately yes, to be um, to be nominated, definitely, to especially win one, would be definitely a great honor. So that's I've been working so hard at getting my EP out to have everyone, all my fans, listen to it and just you know brand that and expose it, so I can get the exposure I need. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And if you get the right exposure by the right people, all these doors can open up wider for you than you can possibly imagine. Yes, definitely. So, because, you know, because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm still kind of struggling with the same thing with my radio show because I would love to take this radio show, you know, internationally, you know. Yes, mm-hmm. especially international. Most of my fans are international just because my dad being from Haiti, you know, mm-hmm. the Caribbean, and um, my mom on the, you know, Italian. So, especially, I think... A celebrity isn't a celebrity if they're only in the States. I think a celebrity is international. So that's definitely one of my main goals is to, I know I'm having a starting my tour soon. One place I definitely want to go is Dubai. It's so beautiful there. But especially to go to different countries and see the different cultures, I want to incorporate that in a lot of my music too. So. Yeah, and I was, I was gonna I was gonna tell you something real quick, Julie. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine that I work with, uh, David Levitt. I work with him on... Uh, the missing and abducted and, and finding missing children and missing adults. And uh, I was telling him that I was excited about this interview. But anyways, I, I asked him, I said, have you ever met Julie before? He said, yeah. He said, I used to, 
you know, talk and hang with her quite a bit. And I said, you know what, David, for the first time in my life, I'm jealous of you. You <laughs> Dave, David, he's such a humble man. Yeah, he's definitely helped me, you know, especially he was in the church a lot. And he, he's definitely been a great family friend and, you know, everything that, and our, part of our journey, too, he's been along on it, him and Shirley. They've been great people. But, yeah, Dave, Dave is so nice. <laughs> but, yeah, I, um, you know, not only do I do this radio show, but I work, you know, with him side by side on the Internet. You know, yeah. anything that David's ever needed, I'm always, you know, I'm always there. Yeah, that's great, though. I, I love helping people. Like, I have my own foundation, too. Call them. Mm-hmm. Um, you are not alone. And um, I started it back in 2010 when Haiti had the major earthquake. And um, I've never been there until I wasn't there prior to that. But I went in um, 2000 a lot of a year ago, and I had my sweet 16, and I I raised money, mm-hmm. and um, instead of getting like presents or gifts, and I went to Haiti that next month, and I raised about like a good a good like thousand something dollars, and I you know. I tra- you know I transverted the money over and for one U.S. dollar is eight dollars there, which is like a lot for them. So uh-huh. I went there for about two months and you know had my foundation up and just did a lot of charity work and all the orphanages and you know the schools. And it was just really great. Like I love giving back so much. And it seems like to me that you know having this lifestyle. How do you sleep? It would be crazy. I know. I really, I really don't sleep. Sometimes I get home, like, I have to go from studio to, like, dance rehearsal to an event. And I get mm-hmm. home later, and I have to get up early for homework tomorrow. So um, you get used to it. You really don't sleep. Sometimes I'll come home at, like, 3, 4 in the morning, and, like, I literally won't be tired. But there's, then there's some days when, like, I kind of, like, need a nap, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I can't go to this event because I might pass out. <laughs> wow. I, I just... I I don't know how you do it, and I, I commend you on it, though, you know. It's, yeah, it's, thank you. It's You definitely have to want to do it. If you didn't want to do it, then I, I don't think you would. But if someone, like, you know, if you have, like, a passion for it, like I have a burning passion, you know, to do what I do. So as long as you have that and, like, you know what you want to do, then you'll be fine. Have you, have you had the opportunity to meet some of your... Uh, favorite uh, favorite singers, or you know, with you being in this profession, have you had the opportunity to meet people that you've actually idolized or wanted to? Um, meet? Yeah, I have. Well, not Aaliyah in um, my MJ, but um, I've met um, Neo. He's a great R&B singer. I met him at P Diddy's party, the pre the pre Grammy mm-hmm. event, and I because I love like the R&B and meeting him. You know, getting to talk with him, and he gave me some really good invi- advice on my whole. R&B industry and, you know, what angles to come in from and, you know, what to expect. So that was very, very um, great. And I met I met Rihanna, but I wasn't, it wasn't a, um, like, just get to have time to talk to her, just kind of like a picture kind of moment. But um, she she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. But, um, yeah, that's who I've met so far. That, that, that's amazing. And with, with you taking this path, you're going to meet more and more stars. I can just I yes. feel it in my bones. So. Yes, I agree. So, so wow, you're only 16 years old. Yeah, you're already 16. this talented. Wow. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, so, so what did you do to prepare uh, this so young? Did you take, like, singing lessons and um, yes, I do. Um, there was kind of lessons that are continuous. So, like, I have, I, I go to singing, you know, I still go every few days. And acting, I still go. It's kind of like just to continually grow and, you know, with my range and everything. So, yeah, I've always, I'll always do vocal lessons when I'm in the studio and kind of like an ongoing process. But, yes, I still do them. Wow, that's, that, that, that's amazing. And, you know, well, like I said, I can't. I can't wait to actually see you on TV and say, I know her. Yes. Yes. I'll be like, I know Justin Harvey. I did an interview with him. <laughs> so, I mean, if if there's anything I can ever do to help you get exposure, I will definitely do it, you know. Yes, so. for sure. I'll definitely let you know. Um, my EP is still in the works now, but we're, you know, we're, it'll be done by summer. So, you know, I'll definitely, obviously I'll give that to you and, you know. Mm-hmm. Let you listen to it and see it, but the video for Generation is up on YouTube and it's on iTunes. So we're starting off with that so far. 
Hey, and ladies and gentlemen, you can also follow her on Facebook and Twitter, correct? Yes, Facebook and Twitter at Julie Marie, and or, in, or Twitter is the Julie Marie, but and then Instagram, it's Julie Marie Music. I'm, I'm mostly on Instagram. I love Instagram. <laughs> I, I do, too. The only problem I have with Instagram is it's not available on computer desktops. I think oh, I yeah, just, I know. I, I mean, I have a phone, but, like, where I'm visually impaired, it's easier for me to sit at a desktop or laptop than to to, to use a phone. So, But yeah. if they have a desktop version, I would probably be on Instagram a lot more. Yeah, yeah. I think I maybe they'll update it soon, but I, I noticed that too. Sometimes I go on my computer and I'm like, wait, why can't I upload a picture? So, uh, what what's your favorite movie of all time? Just curious. My favorite movie of all time would have to be The Purge or Cheaper by the Dozen. Oh wow, wow. Yeah. Both great flicks. Yeah, now, are I you love into- them both. Are you into martial arts films as well? Or Um, yes. I started a new movie, it's untitled yet, it's a new project I'm working on. Um, it's my first action movie. I'm really excited. Um, I did some training mm-hmm. now to get up. Mm-hmm. But um yeah, I'm excited for that a lot. It's a movie that I'm actually shying away from the whole Disney kind of scene and you know, the comedy, nice sweet girl. So it's kinda of like an intense scene for me, but I was really happy that I did it. Mm-hmm. Wow. And, and eventually I could probably see you working with, um, I'm just thinking off the top of my head here, Raven Simone. Yeah, I I actually, I don't, I haven't met her yet, but all of my friends are friends with her, so I'm like, come on, let me meet her already. <laughs> and believe it or not, she started very young. She was on the Cosby show. Yeah, she was on the pub, and then she ended up having her own show on Disney, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I mean... You have a lot of opportunities. Yes, thank you. Uh, and I'm I'm just I'm proud to know you and um you know, and I do thank uh, my friend David Levitt for help coordinating and making this happen, so Yes, for sure. David's an amazing guy, so I'm glad that he got us to connect. Oh oh yeah, and I'm I'm teaching him technology. It's not an easy job to be honest, but he'll mm-hmm, learn. Yeah. Because <laughs> so I've kind of taken him under my wing. Because I, I got to admit, I'm a computer nerd. So, so yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, do do you have any final thoughts before I let you go? Because I don't want to take um, up too much of your time. No, yeah, that's all. I um, just want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to to be on your show and you know share my music and, you know, my thoughts with you and everyone who's listening. So it was a great opportunity for me. I'm looking forward to doing it again. Oh, oh absolutely. And, Julie, I, I hope that I get the honor and pleasure to work with you someday because I, yes, would, love, sure. I would love to put, like, together, like, a uh, like some kind of benefit concert for people with uh, cerebral palsy or something. Yeah. So... so. But uh, thank you for being on the show, and I will be talking to you again soon. Okay, thank you. You too, Justin. No, stop, don't I swear that's all I ever hear you people say. But this is our generation, ain't no time for all these games you want to play. Nothing nice to say, then baby words don't mean a thing There must be 
superficial, but you're really underestimated. All your talk is really cheap, that's why attention is so hard to pay. Must be something in the air, caught you on one, probably cause it's scared of change. that you do follow Julie Marie on Facebook and Twitter uh, and also on Instagram I have all those links in the description of the show um, you can also download her uh, song Generation that you just heard on iTunes I'll have that link also in the description our next uh, upcoming show I'm hoping to be with um, the uh, twin sons of Ricky Nelson uh, I went to a, one of their concerts this Saturday, and it was an awesome concert. Got uh, an autograph from them, the CD, and a picture with them. And it was great. It was exciting. Um, so I'm hoping to actually be booking them for a show upcoming. So that will be our, our next show, hopefully. Uh, again, uh, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the show. And please share this show with everyone on Facebook. We need to get Julie's name out there. She's an awesome. She's got great talent. And uh, her movie is going to be coming up here shortly. So once that is released, I'll actually be talking about that with her. So have a good night. Thanks for listening. <laughs>